So I'm editing a podcast at the moment and this is something that might happen to you if you interview guests um, over Skype maybe and you get them to record themselves. I was recording in 48 kilohertz and they were recording in 44.1. So when I try and import the audio well, on their side it drifts out compared to my audio. So I'm going to show you how you can fix it in Reaper and it's a little bit fiddly but we'll get there. So it's yeah, a fairly simple fix, it just takes some trial and error, especially if you've only got, so this is the guest recording, this is me, this is Lloyd. So you can see on me and Lloyd there that we don't actually have, or what I thought, we didn't have the recording of the guest. We actually do because our headphones leaked a little bit into the microphone, so there actually is a bit of audio there. But the first thing you want to do is go to the beginning, or as close to the beginning as you can, find a bit where it's just the guest talking, and basically try and sync it up with what you've got um, on your end. So, and, um, and I was like, cool, okay, well, I'll give it a go. Because... So that bit syncs up fine. So then what you want to do is you go all the way to the end, and this is a two hour long podcast, so we go all the way to the end, and what you'll notice is, I've already fixed it on this one, but what you'll notice is when you get to the end, you'll have the guest talking here, and then it'll be out of sync with these two tracks. So on Reaper, easy way to do it is you go right to the very end and you hold down the Alt button on your keyboard and you'll see the hand turns into a little grabby hand like that. So if it's like that, that's just going to lengthen or shorten the actual track. If you hold down Alt, it will turn into a little grabby hand like that. And then you can drag left or right, depending on which one you need to do, and probably make it shorter. So you make it shorter until it lines up exactly with the audio that you had before. Um, so what that does, it doesn't actually move the track, it doesn't lengthen or shorten it really. What it's doing is it's actually shortening, so if I was to move it left, so hold down Alt, and you get the little hand like that. If I was to move it left, then everything here would all get, the whole thing would get very, very, very slightly shorter. And what that's going to do is a little bit of trial and error, but you can actually sync it up with your recording then, and it should all fit. Um, little bit more difficult if you don't have the guests recording sort of bleeding through your headphones, which you, you don't really want it to bleed through your headphones. Um, but yeah, if you, if you don't have it like that, you'll just have to try and sync it up with the questions that you're asking. So it might be a bit of trial and error, but that is how you can fix it. So get it synced up at the beginning to a place where it sounds good, all nice and in sync. Go to the very end, hold down Alt, it will turn into a little grabby hand, and then you just grab and move it bit by bit, so you're squashing basically the entire thing, and it should all sync up.